Hello everyone. Basically today I'm just going to be doing another makeup look. I'm absolutely boiling. I think I'm just going to take this off. Got my Winnie Pooh jumper on. Okay so I'm just going to be doing another makeup look. I just got a Florida Gators top on. It's my pyjama top. I've got my hair like this because it's just out of my face. Please ignore the fact I look like a maniac. So to start off with I've just like already wiped my face and everything. I'm going to be going in with my U Tan and Tone Refreshing Coconut tanning water and I'm going to be spraying this all over my face this is like my favorite thing ever as you can see my ISO is up quite high but you might be able to tell that my face has a bit of a tan to it and that's just by using this I just spritz that like all over my neck all over my face and I find that if you wear fake tan all the time it really helps to maintain your tan too I'm gonna to leave my ISO like that I normally have it like brighter but I also find that since using that my skin has been like really smooth I don't know if anyone else finds that that actually helps as like almost like a skincare product in their like makeup routine the next product I'm going to use is the L'Oreal Hydrogenous Aloe Water this is just a moisturizer and I just apply this all over my face I've applied two face masks today as well. I haven't got anything for my eye cream ready at the moment that I'm actually enjoying. I've got the Tarte one, but I've not really been using eye cream to be honest with you at the moment. I've just been like, I don't know, I've just found that the eye creams that I've been using actually just look worse, like when I actually use eye cream. So I've not really been using one. I want to get the Kiehl's avocado one, so I'm going to get that at the airport duty free when I go to America, because that looks really good. So yeah, I don't use an eye cream at the moment. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Chocolate, and I will be doing an update with brow routine if you're like interested, but I'm just going to do this off camera to save time. I've done one eye off camera. I'm just going to be doing the other eye on camera, obviously. I'm going to be patting over my concealer with my MAC 252 flat shader brush as my concealer is tacky because of the method that I do. I don't tend to set the concealer anymore. So I'm just going to pat over that. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a mixture of these two peachy shades from the Morphe 35-9A palette. And I'm gonna mix them together on a Morphe M505 blending brush. And I'm gonna pat them onto my eyelid and just push them down. And I'm not gonna swipe them or blend them or any motion like that, I'm just pushing it down like that. So as you can see, you get as much like color payoff as possible. And it also just helps to set that lid and then just going to start blending that upwards into the crease. You want to make sure your concealer is set down in place and that it's not like sticky or tacky. And I'm just feathering this end of it out here like so, going in circular motions. Then I'm taking the fourth peachy shade from the transition section. And I'm just applying that on the same brush and I'm just applying that all over. This is just to add more warmth to the eye. I'm just taking this Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer and I'm blending the edges out as this is a clean brush. And what I do with each sort of blend that I do, I just wipe off any excess on the back of my hand. Then I'm just taking the green in the palette this is the green in between the, so it's this one, the lighter one. And I'm just going to be applying this onto the lid with a Morphe M506. So I'm just going to push that shade down just to get a bit of colour on there. And then I'm going to just start blending that into the crease. With Morphe shadows, I always tend to push the shadow down and then I blend it out. Because then that way you've applied as much sort of pressure from the shadow as possible. So then it applies 
it applies more pigmentation that way. Okay, and then I'm going to take a Morphe G14 brush and this is like an oval flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just pushing that onto the eyelid just to make sure the lid is covered and I'm just going to take that same fluffy Morphe brush that we use to apply the transition shades and I'm just going around that and I'm just taking some of that last peach shade because you want your transition to obviously like show through and with like oranges and greens they transition into each other like really nicely now what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix the two greens just to make it super pigmented. So I've got the other green here, these two here, this matte green and that matte, this matte green. Somewhere in there. And I'm just going to mix the two and push it onto the lid. You do get a lot of fallout, but that's to be expected. I would just use either, I would just do your eyes first or just apply loose powder when doing your eyes if you've got like foundation on but I like, tend to always do my eyes first it looks like this what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna apply a winged liner and then apply a lashes and then we'll move on to the other steps okay I'm noticing one of my eyes look a bit different so what I'm doing is grabbing this like peach shade and I'm just like applying it into my crease just to make the colors stand out more looks better okay what i'm going to do now i'm going to take my mac show cream and apply this all over the face to apply my foundation i'm going to be taking this real techniques sculpting brush i'm just applying the mac cosmetics studio fix fluid foundation in nc42 really washed out and weird i'm taking these clips out of my hair because they're really annoying me i'm gonna do my blusher i've got this little Too faced one please ignore the bronze on my nose it looks really intense i've got this little Too faced blusher it's in ab love and it's one of the blush flush ones but it's like one of the little dinky ones it's like a nude color but when you like build it up it's actually really like so yeah just build that up look how small it is compared to my hand Okay, the new product in this video I've got to try is this Kat Von D powder and it's the Lock It Blotting Powder and obviously I'm not really blotting my face because I've just done my makeup but I'm just going to like put some around my nose area. This is the packaging, it's absolutely like stunning. That's the product and the little sponge. I've got it like basically also to like take away with me. It's got a nice clear mirror and I'm just going to use this Elf Flawless Concealer Brush and I'm just going to pat some, put that right up brown side of my nose where's the light contour of my nose and this is in the shade fair this is like the lightest shade and it's supposed to like hide your holes as well okay i think that looks really nice oh and the sponge is like that obviously i can't see much of a difference at the moment because i've just obviously done my makeup i'll be showing you like in vlogs and that mine like some more thoughts I'm literally going to run both those khaki green shades underneath my eye. I wouldn't usually do this, I'd just run the orange, but I'm actually preferring like a khaki tone. And I'm just taking like the darker khaki tone. I would like to do a look one day where I don't do eyeshadow underneath because I've never done that. Just took some of the lighter green and I just mixed that into the other. Just gonna take some of those orange tones from the palette and just mix them in. This look is really easy and I wanted to show you that you can like do colourful looks but you can make them look really easy by just using like a few colours. And then I'm just going to run some of that black shadow along my waterline. The black in this palette is a lot better than the black in my other Morphe palette. 
and it just sort of like completes the eyes like this eye looks so much more like put together than that eye and black eyeshadow is easier to get out than black liner although that happens what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna take my anastasia beverly hills moon child palette and i'm gonna take the green highlight from this which is lucky clover and i'm gonna be using this as a base for my inner corner highlight so i'm just gonna put that in my inner corner just like patting it down actually that looks stunning on it so and then what i'm going to be doing now is taking my inglot pigment and this is in number 45 this is my most loved used pigment from inglot i'm just going to push that on top they're virtually exactly the same, but the Inglot one makes it more intense and like duochrome. And that's the eyes done. I've just done my mascara and my eyebrows. Now I'm going to highlight the face with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I'm going to use one for free, which is that one. Because I haven't used this in a while. But it's like my favourite highlighter formula and forever young please don't ask what went on with my eyebrows today because I don't even so what I'm gonna do the like I've got a MAC strip down it by now, oh my god look at my hair. So I'm going to apply it there. I know I apply this all the time at the moment but I find it goes with like every lip colour ever. And then for lip colour I'm doing something really different and I'm just going to go with this Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss. This is in Gilded and I never really like, well, I looked at my Instagram posts and when I'm doing like a makeup look I always like look at my Instagram posts and see what I posted recently and I posted loads of nudes but this is a bit different because it's a gold lip gloss and I feel like this goes really cool with the eyes, like with the pop colour. Okay I feel like I need a new one because this one feels like it's going a bit funny. So yeah. really cool right so this is the end of this makeup look this is the finished look this is my finished makeup look i really hope that you liked this makeup look please let me know what you think please also let me know what other makeup videos you'd like to see before i go on holiday because obviously i will be pre-filming so i can still get like some videos up while i'm on holiday i will be vlogging when i'm on holiday but i don't know if to do it as like weekly vlogs like i normally do when i'm at home or if you'd like to see like a few days like three four days like bulk videos because i'm there for three weeks i'll try and film every day but some days like we're gonna go to the parks and we're gonna do some different things like last year we found like some cool nature trail like mi like this mysterious house thing so that was quite cool you might have seen that in my like vlog from last year please let me know what you'd like with that sort of thing and yeah i hope that you like this makeup look and yeah please ignore the state of my eyebrows